with Marco Antonio Raquel, right? Yeah. Now, now, see, I, it's, <laughs> I'm still getting my Spanish right, but you've got it down to a pad. I mean, you're doing some great stuff over with uh, what Wheel of Four. No, I'm sorry, Price is Right. With the Price is Right, uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Family Feud, right. all of those uh, good, good old game shows. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now you're stepping out tonight for a very important event, and you're presenting. Tell yeah. us about the award you're presenting. Well, the award I'm presenting is the best feature film. It's going to uh, Sean Penn mm -hmm. and the uh, directors of the film called uh, Love, Hate, Love, and which I haven't had the privilege of watching, but I, I'm I have. looking forward. Oh, I tell have. me about it. It was today. Yeah, no, yeah. it was great. You know what? There was not a dry eye in the house wow. at the end. I saw men. Yeah. So I'm glad you didn't see it because you would have been like, ah. <laughs> I love watching documentaries and I'm, right? I'm really happy to see that the consciousness level is growing and more people are getting involved into this. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's not a lot of people going to see documentaries still, but I, I do my best. I promote it with my friends. I promote it on Facebook and I think it's a, it's a great thing because that's the way we're going to evolve. I'm so glad you brought that up because so many people, some, you know, some think, oh, a documentary, it's yeah. not a film, it's not TV, but you, you just said something very yeah. important to move forward, yeah. we have to be aware, right? We have to be aware because the only way the world is going to change, this country or whatever country is going to change, is the day we ourselves change. It's, it's about taking full responsibility. So people are, you know, you're, you're, you're waiting for the government to change things, for, for your boss to change things, or your neighbor to change, or someone else to come and magically change life for you. And that someone is you. That's what if you are that someone? That's what Gandhi said, which is be the change you want to you want to see in the world. And, and documentaries are great opportunities for uh, having a higher level of awareness and many, many matters that are happening in the world. Now tell me, you as well have taken that upon yourself. You work yeah. with some uh, children organizations, right? Yeah, I've been working for 15 years in Mexico with a Mexican telethon where we've raised uh, more than $400 million. We have now 14 rehabilitation centers for handicapped children. Wow. I also work for Children International. We are doing. We went to Colombia last year to do the campaign, and both in English and in Spanish. Uh, and uh, I also work with PETA, People for the Ethical yes. Treatment of Animals. I'm really passionate about about animals too. And uh, I became vegan. Wait, hold on. Years on. ago. That's important. <laughs> this is important because that's a that's a big change for a Mexican to be vegan. <laughs> that's what I mean. You can't get. Car I mean, as soon as you go and get, you know, like a taco, they ask you what type of meat you want. Well, I get a What do you get then? Tacos con with la coche and beans oh, and rice and and, uh, okay. and pepper and there's oh. actually actually the Aztec culture, the pre-Hispanic culture was almost vegetarian. So it was the Spaniards who brought all the meats and the pork and all of that stuff. And don't get me wrong, I mean I, I I love I love the the taste of the food, but when I realized the damage we were doing to the world, when I realized that we were using 2,500 gallons of water to produce one pound of meat, and that the Amazon has been cut, chopped down, 30% of the Amazon is gone because of the meat production. Production and 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 then the relationship with meat and milk, right. you know, with, with my health and the cruelty to the animals. When I when I watched the the videos, I, I was just like, I'm not going to be a part of this, even if I'm Mexican. Well, that's <laughs> what I have to ask you. I, which was there a particular film yeah. that did that to you? Yeah, it's a little documentary that you can find online with uh, Paul McCartney. It's called uh, Glass Walls. If you just Google Glass Walls, Paul I've, McCartney, I've heard that you can see a lot it. Of lies. Yeah, it's a it's a PETA documentary right. that shows a lot of uh, undercover scenes, and uh, it's just uh, the cruelty uh, uh, that that the industry has with animals is something that I'm, I'm not compatible with. And and then I you know realized it was good for the environment, right. good for my health. I lost like 40 pounds. I feel younger. I feel better than ever. 40 pounds? I lost 40. Well, I, you you know, again, you start aging yeah, I know. little by little. I tell me, I know. And then there's a point <laughs> where you go like, you know, and I tried everything. I tried the Atkins, I tried right. South Beach, I tried everything. Right. And I, when I when I went vegan, not because of my weight, but because of, of the cruelty with animals, one of the good things that happened was that I lost the weight. Now, you got to tell me, because I know all the women are, are wondering, <laughs> who's, what's your favorite animal? <laughs> my, well, I, I'm a dog lover, obviously. I have I have two Labradors, two rescues, Ooh. and I, I love them dearly. They're like my little kids. What are the names? Lucy and Yogi. <laughs> Lucy and Yogi. Okay. Yogi, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so very much for taking a moment with us. And thank, thank you. you for Artivist for bringing you here. Thank you so much. Thank you.